Hey world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. I just came back home from a beautiful place where we had lunch with the parents, the in-laws and my parents. Kids loved it. I'll put in some footage at the end. Yeah, this is not really a video. It's like an unboxing, but I only want to show you one of the knives because this might be my last package that I receive for December. I don't know. I hope for more, but we'll see what happens with the Christmas rush coming and whatever things might take longer. We'll see. Anyway, so the courier guy were actually waiting for me in front of my house. Um, this awesome knife I'm using is the J blade. Um, please check on the first look on the J blade. I did not do a full review yet, but let me just tell you this custom work of art is fantastic okay you didn't even see that flick over there okay beautiful knife wonderful okay let's put that away then in here we have this box okay sorry if it's a bit close but i'm not going to move the camera now ah now i can't open it just like that Hot knife through butter. And then it's wrapped a bit more. Okay, but more is better. Okay, these three knives. One I just saw a little while ago, and I really wanted that. One I saw, and I wanted that for quite a while. And then the other one I pretty much wanted for the whole year, but I never got around to actually getting it. So I'll do the two Kaisers in a different video. Today I want to show you this thing. Simply the best. Best tech knives. And then we see BG36A. And on the other side we see Operator. Satin and Black. Okay. So I saw this knife on a few channels, but I think it was Shredder Knife Reviews that pretty much made me decide to get this thing okay we have a beautiful red backspacer which matches with my Christmas doormat I think um, I'll take this away at some stage but for now I'm still digging the whole Christmas vibe a lot nice pocket clip um, button screws but a recessed clip which is very nice uh, G10 backspacer G10 scales they feel quite nice Jumping on the flipper tab, just enough to grab you. A big opener. I can see a lot of oil on here already, which is not a bad thing. Um, no, you're not going to do this as a front flipper. Let's do the first flip. Wow. Look at that blade shape. Okay, so this is a budget option for a tactical knife. Or... What do you call it? Best take soiree into tacticalness. Okay, I dig this blade shape. Look, this little thumb divot over there. Got an angry nose, very acute point. Beautiful um, satin flats with the two-tone. That thing looks super mean. <clears throat> okay, ergonomics feels quite fantastic, actually. Okay, if you want to move your thumb up if you want to use the thumb ramp there is some jumping over there it feels quite functional okay you're not going to choke up more than this but you don't need to and then because it's a tactical knife yes it actually feels quite nice in the reverse grip this is a very solid feeling knife okay it feels quite heavy and if i can remember correctly it's like almost six ounces oh the action is quite good Yes, the action feels quite awesome. Okay, let's see if we can spidey flick this thing. Oh, like a champ. Okay, spidey flicking, no problem. Thumb flicking. Thumb flicking. If you fall into the big part of the hole, then it becomes a problem. If you just put your finger in front there, not a problem. Thumb flicking, just put your finger in the big hole at the back. Yes, that feels pretty awesome. Okay, so very intuitive knife, or it's just me, and remember, I am a professional. No, I'm kidding, but I am. Okay, 
this is the first base stack that I have that had these black base stack pivots. Normally they're quite shiny or silver at least. On the back it's nothing, on the front it's logo. I quite dig the red backspacer. Okay, this thing feels quite awesome. This feels thicker than normal. Okay, I'm not going to do measurements and stuff now. But it feels thicker. Maybe even about 4 moles, 3.5, 4 moles. Blade length looks about average. Let's just quickly compare it with something. Okay, here's a red one. And I must say they are pretty much the same. The red one might be a bit longer over here, but apart from that, they feel the same. Yeah, it's pretty much longer um, handle, but the same length blade. So that's about three and a half inches. I like this thing. Okay, I'm going to do all manner of tactical food prep for a while with this. Maybe cut some wood, because these worn cliff looking blades are normally quite great at carving. Can I do some of that? And then you must have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Christmas time, and I will see you again most likely tomorrow. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.